Hey everybody. So it's Bagel Tuesday anyway, so I'm going to go to Panera Bread, get some bagels for the family. And hopefully my headache will go away. I'm gonna have some massive caffeine. Yes, that's kind of what it's all about sometimes. Today I'm gonna show you just what's sold. Oh, that guy's over the line, yay. And my butt is burning. I'm here getting some mac and cheese and I'm looking at Chick-fil-A and they have really good mac and cheese. Okay, we're gonna try Panera and it was only like a dollar fifty more about for the bread bowl, so that I would try. So, and maybe my headache will go away. I don't know. I can't wait to get some caffeine. Hopefully I can get enough caffeine where my headache goes away. I'll do my packages, bring them to the post office. And I haven't really sold that much. It was so strange because Friday my, um, my phone was just going berserk with sales and offers and payments and it was just going nuts Friday night but and then it kind of just disappeared. Do these earrings match? I don't know. Do they? I don't know. Come along with me. I'll take you along for a little bit of shipping when I get back and hopefully get rid of this headache. Here's the bread bowl, and this looks so good. I can't wait to eat it. This is a small, and this is plenty big. Look at how good this is. I've never had it with a mac and cheese, but I was craving mac and cheese so bad. Ooh, yummy. Oh, has anybody ever got these? I thought I took them off my auto ship. I just fed the kitty, and I keep cutting myself on this really hard my fingers bleeding oh what a morning what a morning this is definitely coming off my auto ship sorry kitty cat Aww. okay so here i sold a book for 5.59 and plus shipping and we are going to get this one out i'll show you how i ship this i'm gonna wrap this bag it and then i use usually um amazon mailers and I'll fold it double tight to make sure it's really secure. Unless it's like a really expensive book or it's an antique, I'll wrap that in cardboard and then put it in here. Um, sometimes if it's several hundred dollars, I'll do priority mail just so this book gets there quicker. So this is going to ship out media mail. Now I've got these cute little stickers. This is some other stuff I'm shipping out today. I put it on this roll. And I've got these cute little stickers I'm going to put on there. Okay, so that's how that looks. And um, and then I've got some Valentine's ones too I might use in a couple days. So these are cute. I got these off eBay. Okay, so here's the food store rolls that I buy. And I'm going to bag this. I keep forgetting my clear tape. Oh my goodness. So I will bag this, put that in there. I'm going to have to use this kind of tape so oh well not every day is perfect especially with a headache <laughs> okay so actually Johnny Cajun Roots reseller sent me one of these so I'm just gonna put this in here because this is easy and I'm super tired okay so I've taped both ways to make sure it's secure and I'm gonna put the label on the top okay so here it's coming up to nine 9.2 ounces and I'm going to put 12 ounces on this because that's the next ounce until the price increase and I always do that just in case my scale is a little bit wonky that day or my scale didn't have enough coffee apparently like me today so I'm going to bump this up to 12 ounces and this is going priority mail thank you so much Jesse Okay, so then we have a large antique solder tin metal handle Christmas tree cookie cutter. And then it says read. Well, it's very old. So here it's been kind of soldered together. So this was $75 plus shipping. I'm going to put this in a box. This is so old. Look at how big this is. And I have pretty big hands. I don't have small hands. So it's really huge. I would love a cookie made out of this thing. That would be great. I almost thought about keeping these. These came from a old, old, old farmhouse. So 
this is cool. That was definitely a fun day finding all that really old stuff. So, all right. Thank you so much, Debbie. That's on its way. I love this item. This is one of my favorite things I had. So, okay. So here I have it in this box and I am going to put some more paper on this like that. And that one is going out. So Debbie, this is really cool. I can't wait till you get it. I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed looking at it. <laughs> it was definitely fun to find. So, okay, and here is a really pretty Studio Works Brocade Texture Elegant Sheen Blazer Jacket, Rayan Polly Small. This would have been perfect for Christmas time. Don't you think so? Look at how pretty this is. The fabric is gorgeous. I've had this one for a while. This one sold for $8.79. I just keep marking the prices down every so many days. So this one's going out. It's absolutely gorgeous. Enjoy. Thank you so much, Natalie. Okay, I just want to show you that when you're shipping USPS, you might want to just click this because... Um, UPS also has UPS ground something. I don't know what it's called, but they're very similar and you could really make a big mistake because sometimes UPS can be quite a bit cheaper. Now with this one, um, it it is cheaper to send it ground, as you can see here, 785. It's a little bit more for priority mail, so we're gonna send it ground advantage. I do really like ground advantage. I'm definitely enjoying that. And eBay has some pretty sturdy poly mailers, and if you have a store, you can get these for free or pretty close to it. So that's what I use, and it's pretty good plastic. This is just one of those poly mailers, so really, really easy. And when you slide it in a food storage bag or any other kind of bag, it makes it really easy to slide into these kind of bags. Weird and been off of eBay for a couple of weeks during the holidays, and I totally forgot about duh. When it's over a pound, I always try to ship it flat rate envelope, and that is seven sixty. So we are going to do that oh my goodness how did i even forget about that i can tell i have a really bad headache today so i'm going to take this it's already in here and i'm going to try to squeeze this into a flat, flat rate envelope now when i have something really bulky i will fold down of these just to make it a little bit more malleable to put in there see how good that fits that fits really nice and then i'm just going to secure this and it's going to be on its way and it'll get there really quickly with priority mail so i'm happy about that okay so here is a jamaica keychain vintage shell starfresh sand beach state fab keychain acrylic <laughs> those are my words so this is what sold and this is going out to robert thank you so much robert this is cute i should get a puerto rico one i think i bought a puerto rico one similar to this um this is going out for ten dollars plus shipping so and that was an offer and i was happy to take that isn't that cute i got these little boxes off amazon this just makes my job really really easy there it's ready <laughs> i'm gonna put this in a padded envelope and it will be on its way so this is coming up to 2.3 i'm gonna bump this up to four because that's the next price range and this is also purchased on the ebay store and these work really good just throw it in there i also did put a plastic bag like everything else i put everything in plastic just to make sure nothing happens to it so if you know water gets through there hopefully stuff will be protected i have not had any problem i'm probably way overthinking this too and i always use my thank you cards just a little thank you to put it in there if now sometimes I forget, and especially on a tired day coming back from Christmas, I might forget a couple of these, but I try to remember to put a thank you in all of my packages. Okay, and here's a Stroh's Bohemian Lager Brewery Beard Old Gold Pale Ginger Ale Can Bottle Opener, and this sold for $12. 
Now, these sell for quite a bit. I think the lowest I've sold one is like 38. Um, I had a lot of interest in this. And I decided just to let it go for 12 and let somebody else enjoy it. So thank you so much, Charles. I'm excited for you to get this. Definitely enjoy. It's a great little piece of history. It's a great little piece of vintage history. Really, really cute. I hope you enjoy it in your collection. Okay, so here I pulled this and I don't want to unwrap it or barely even touch it. Um, I took it out of the sandwich bag because I feel like it's kind of gaudy. Um, here is a crocheted antique doily, woodland deer, animals, doe, buck, squirrel, chair table cover, B. So I had, I bought two of these and I sold B. So I have it marked on the bag B. I am going to ship this out. I don't want to touch it too much because, um, this actually, I think it came from England if I can remember this right. Um, this lady had gotten it from her mother and I bought it because I know I've sold so many of these deer doilies. If you see deer doily, even if it's $10, I would get it um, or less. I would try to get less. Um, the least I think I've taken for these has been like 30, you know, like the 35 Ranger up. I don't think I've sold them any less than that. This one sold for $40 plus shipping. So thank you, Marsha. I hope you enjoy this. These are super precious. They're so old, hand done, hand crocheted, really, really nice. So this was a really fun lady to talk to. I found it at a flea market and yeah, that was fun. I think it was in South Haven, if I can remember right. Um, definitely a really, really fun day. And that was with Backyard Trucker. And I'll leave the link below if you want to follow him too. He's just starting on YouTube. And he's in a lot of my videos because my husband doesn't like to do flea markets or thrift, especially thrift stores. He's like, no. <laughs> he doesn't really like the flea markets and Andy doesn't mind going. So we often will go together to flea markets. So I might bag this before wrapping it in tissue paper because I don't want to get it dirty. So this definitely wasn't a nice color when I got it and I soaked it overnight and it was really, really nice. I did it in OxyClean, I think a little bit of Blue Dawn and some Tide or something. So I don't want to touch this. I've been shipping so much today. I'm going to put it in plastic and then I'm going to put it in tissue paper. I've got some tissue paper sitting here, eBay tissue paper. I don't want the ink to that to get onto this. <laughs> this is like really old and when it's hand done, you want to be super, super careful. So off it goes. I'm glad it sold. These are so gorgeous. I love finding these. These are definitely probably one of my favorite things to sell on eBay. Okay, and here is the last one for today. Um, I'm gonna definitely call it a day and it is, gosh, it's already three o'clock. So here's an Old Navy stretch size four black ran poly spandex blah 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 skirt buttons. Oh, I'm tired and I definitely need kind of a nap. <laughs> so I am going to do the last one. Thank you so much, Amanda. I appreciate it. And I'm going to get these out in the mail and drop them off at the post box. Hope everybody enjoys and I hope all of you have a really awesome Great, best ever New Year's. Bye, everybody. Happy New Year!